What's up, gentlemen? I hope everybody is doing well today. Just wanted to uh, <coughs> come on and talk about <coughs> a few different random topics. Nothing too specific. I just kind of wanted to have a uh, just a random chat. I haven't really uh, haven't really had too much to say recently. Um, things have kind of been quiet uh, as far as paying attention to anything new coming in that revolves around the feminist agenda or the LGBTQ ABCD agenda or any of those kind of agendas. There hasn't been too much anything new. I haven't really noticed anything extravagant, you know. Once you kind of see where things are going, you can kind of plot it out and you really don't need to watch video after video uh, to get the point. Once you understand where things are going and once you understand what the whole purpose of uh, this feminist agenda and the other agendas that are at work in our country at the moment, uh, here in the United States and around the world, it's not very difficult to see what's going on. So I feel like I didn't feel like I haven't really uh, felt the urge to post anything about that recently, uh, just because uh, it's kind of all been talked about, and we kind of all see uh, the purpose of these agendas. So today is just going to kind of be a uh, random chat. If you hear a weird noise, I have my vaporizer with me. I've recently quit smoking um, about two, three months ago. Um, got a vaporizer. Love it. Uh, got really sick and tired of the taste of cigarettes. Um, very, very rarely now do I have one. I thought that I would be one of those people that would not be able to quit, but, you know, once you get sick and tired of something, you really just kind of you get burnt out on something, you really, it's, it makes it much easier to um, move on from it. Tastes better anyways. So yeah, I haven't, um, not too much has been going on as far as uh, anything noticeable. Um, pretty much you know, these people, these feminists and all these other people, they're going to keep doing what they're going to keep doing. Um, they're not going to stop. You know, they're going to keep spouting their bull crap and um, they're going to keep talking about what they want to talk about. And regardless if they are right or wrong, um, I almost feel that uh, the more that we come out against uh, we're almost pr uh, more we come out against it uh, in some cases we seem to be promoting it I don't know if that's something weird that I've noticed but uh, these people are going to continue to keep doing what we're dealing with is a bunch of mentally ill people um, who do not uh, understand you know the difference between right and wrong a lot of these individuals that are buying into uh, a lot of women that are buying into the feminist ideology uh, usually have some kind of mental health issues, some a lot of psychological issues that promote them to do this because most uh, sane and rational people uh, wouldn't do that. It's kind of common sense. But when you have people that are mentally disturbed, uh, they've had issues of childhood-related issues or whatnot, it makes it much easier for somebody to buy into that because... They have an artificial sense of power um, that they feel they're being given. I really like this vaporizer. It definitely is much healthier. I suggest, you know, if you're smoking out there, you know, just pick one up. Um, see how you do with it. Uh, don't get any of those cheap e-cigs. Those things are crappy. They never work. You know, those things that you buy at the gas station, those... Those things are crappy. You don't want to get one of those. I suggest you pick up something called an, uh, an iGES 2. About 60 bucks. It comes with a tank and a battery. USB chargeable. Very easy to use. Very cheap to replace. One thing you have to buy is the juice, and occasionally you got to replace the atomizer. Very inexpensive. Very simple. I love it.
but um, yeah, I mean, today is just going to be kind of a random chat. I've been uh, paying a lot of attention to the news recently. You know, the election is on everybody's mind. And uh, what's funny is that I've kind of been more of a reclusive person over the last year. This year has been quite interesting, to say the least, uh, in my life personally. Um, we all go through weird phases where we learn something and it changes our opinion about many different things that we believe in. And that's exhausting. Uh, it's exhausting for me personally just because I'm very intuitive and uh, I look very deeply into things <clears throat> and that's exhausting because you contemplate and you think. And um, thinking is exhausting when you do it all the time, every minute of the day. I'm constantly analyzing things I find myself doing these days. You know, once you get certain kinds of information, once you get uh, knowledgeable on many different things, it changes your opinion on things. I hope it will. I hope it should. And that's only a natural thing to have happen, in my opinion. But opinions and knowledge always change the way that you look at things, at least depending on what you know about. That's kind of what I've been finding myself doing. But I've been paying attention a lot to the news recently. And, uh, you know, I follow the Drudge Report. That's the only major news channel that I find myself going to. I don't pay attention to mainstream news like CNN or uh, anything like that. It's all bullcrap anyway. It's all fake. It's all staged. So I find myself going there and I read the headlines, see what's going on in the news. Obviously, as far as the political realm of things, I think everybody has uh, seen what happened to Miss Hillary Clinton this, uh, this week with her falling into a van after attending a 9-11 event. And she's very sick. We all know this. It's interesting to see what's going to happen. One of the things that have been circulating is that they might cancel the election due to the death of a running candidate. Now that's interesting, huh? So I'm paying close attention to that. My personal view on all these politics is it's just another religion. It's just another thing to get people distracted, get people's money, get people to buy into many different things. That's all it's about. You know, just think about it for a minute. How does one person get to a point where they are so wealthy and rich and then they just happen to run for the presidency. And this is uh, regarding all candidates, president and past. It just doesn't make sense. But it just comes to show you how manipulated the society is when it comes down to mainstream media. It just comes to show you that people... You know, you give, if people want something, you give people what they want. That was one of the main things I learned about at my uh, limited stays being a film producer and learning about advertising and marketing later on after I left is that all Hollywood does and all the mainstream media does is they give people what they want. That's all they do. People are happy, they're content, they set the record straight. Really, it's the people. If you keep watching, they'll keep putting it out. Watch what happens when you get a bad review, like off the Ghostbusters 3 movie. It's interesting, I have my TV on right now, and they're showing Ghostbusters. Maybe it's a publicity cover-up. Maybe they're trying to promote it again. It's funny, though, because when you have such visceral hatred towards something, and a lot of people dislike it, you'll see real quick how people shut their mouths. To prevent them from losing money. 
it has been a crazy year, I was saying earlier. Uh, as I said a minute ago, I worked in the film business uh, for about five years. Learned a lot when I was there. I got ripped off. Um, learned my lessons with how things really work uh, when it comes down to those positions and all those kind of industries. It's all fake. Every little bit of it. I guess it's easier for me to see that now because once you become unplugged from the matrix, as many people are uh, aware of that term, it's so hard to see how easily people are led into it once you've studied about the system, once you know about the system. It becomes very difficult to break away from what you know and falling back into the matrix. I, but there is those uh, times that it happens. It's actually very easy to happen, especially regarding women. Because what we see is that there is so much pushed in our mainstream media today to get us to fall back into the lies of everything is fine and uh, you should try again and everything will work itself out. You know, the more and more I find myself knowing things, the more and more optimistic I really get and the more doubtful I get because the rabbit hole goes very deep. So once you leave that kind of environment, you start to see how you were being misled. And we see this in our society today, how people are constantly misled. They're misled just about in every way possible when it comes down to artificial goals to aspire to. You know, I want to have the McMansion. I want to have the $350,000 house or $600,000 house. Or I want to live in the mansion and have the million, two million, five million dollar house. Yet people don't understand that the economy sucks and that the housing market's completely destroyed if you were to sell. But I guess if you have that kind of money, it really doesn't matter, does it? Going back to politics, though. My view on all these politics is it's all the same. It doesn't matter who you put into office. It's all the same. Same thing. I mean, do you honestly believe that people would allow a random person to run the country without them having complete control over that person? Do you know how many agendas are in place? Do you know how much money has been invested in things that people don't even know exist? Do you know how much damage and how ingrained and rooted the system is in every fact of society today? These are things I think about. I find it to be just another religion. Money is a religion, the ultimate religion. Politics is a religion. Modern day science is a religion. The isms of feminism and all these new age bullcrap, it's all just another religion. It's just another religion to get people distracted from what's really going on. It's hard for people to break completely away from it. I think you'd go crazy in many cases. Sometimes I find myself losing it every now and then just because it's so crazy what you see in this world. Once you see how things work and how much damage it actually is doing, it makes you kind of want to lose your mind. It's very stressful once you know things. So, I try to stay away from most of it. I find it just getting me to be more sucked back into the system by hoping and participating in something that I know is rigged, like paying attention to what any kind of person on the mainstream news media has to say. You know, this uh, internet thing has been coming around and 
people have been talking about the censorship and um, this whole thing regarding what's going to happen to the internet due to the TPP, which is called the Trans-Pacific Partnership, that uh, of course the general public was not informed about. Makes you wonder. Already is suspicious. I don't know. I've been thinking about different alternative sites to put my content on, i.e., Vimo, Vimeo, or uh, Daily Motion. Probably go with Vimeo. I think that, unfortunately, people will continue to move on with their lives if something were to happen to the internet, such as the monetization issues going on today. I think people would simply fall into it and just adjust like they do with everything else. It's like you see people that constantly eat fast food. They just adjust. Their bodies adjust. They get used to it. They get used to that overweight feeling and the feeling of being sick. They just get used to it. And that's what is happening by constantly pushing every little ideology you get used to it you get brainwashed into letting it become a part of you you just get used to it you build up a tolerance to it and before you know it you just become lackadaisical to it if that's the right word That's what I'm worried about with all these things that happen, is that people are so asleep that they just will end up saying, oh, well, I guess I can't put those videos up, but I'll still put up videos. They just let it happen like it's no big deal, or they don't rebel, or um, whatnot. They just let it become a part of their lives, and everybody moves on, and uh, it just will get worse. Just like I like to use the term of seeing what cell phones have done to people. You know, one or two people had their cell phones out and, you know, it was rare to see people always on their phones. But when the iPhone came out, even then people were really not too ingrained. They weren't uh, too ingrained with the technology. But then two years later, if, if that, we see everybody now being sucked into the the iPhone and the iPhone 7 just came out just a constant rollout and you know people will buy it of course they'll buy it so I'm all very skeptical these days about what I learn and what I know But anyways, I see these things happening, and uh, regarding the internet, I'm worried that it's just going to become another thing. It's going to slowly happen, like how these things take root. It slowly happens, because if they sent a shockwave through the whole thing, everybody would catch on pretty quick, right? So we'll see what happens. I'm keeping my, out eye, on, keeping my eye out uh, on it. One thing I've noticed, though, is that since I have not watched TV, uh, I usually turn it on for noise, and I don't pay attention to mainstream news. I'm able to think much more clearly, you know, because you don't have to worry about uh, having every little bit of news these days, whether or not it's truthful or not, because there's alternative media out there now. Many different channels on YouTube now are giving the ability to have people pay attention to different news, fact-checking and cross-referencing different ideas. One thing I see worrying in the future is the whole virtual reality situation. Just like the iPhone. How people 
slowly allowed it into their lives and as it destroyed the very fabric of communication. I mean, I want you to think about something. Think about this. What has the iPhone done to people, to relationships, to communities, and to people? What has it done as far as the breakdown of communication within the society? Nowadays, people don't want to call. They rather text. So there's less communication. And nowadays, people are using emojicons, which will eventually become the new language on these social media sites. It's already starting to take hold. I see commercials every now and then of this very thing taking its place. I see commercials not using words to describe their products, but rather using emojicons because it's what people know about. It's what the people that have been ingrained in Twitter and Instagram and all social media facets to become the new language to describe because people's ability to communicate has been dra dramatically limited. Sometimes I have hope for how things are going to turn out. Sometimes I have hope that people will wake up. But is it realistic to assume that if everywhere you turn you just see people slowly degrading into their technology, the transhumanist agenda, this virtual reality, 